Assalamu alaikum and greetings. You're hearing Ali Shah now. Welcome back to another 360 degree virtual reality desert off-roading video. It is a 360 degree virtual reality video so feel free to click, hold and drag to look around and if you're watching it on your uh, devices, smartphones and smart devices, feel free to use your finger to move the video around and look around best way to enjoy this video is to watch it on virtual reality goggles. Today I'm not uh, alone. Uh, actually I am alone in my Suzuki Jimny, but I'm not alone overall as you just saw a Toyota Land Cruiser pass by. My sister is driving that so today my sister is along with me on this little off-roading adventure. Watch out for the Jeep. Watch out Yes, we saw each other right on time. This happens in dunes often. I got to arrange, uh, you know, that antenna thing that actually tells other drivers there's a vehicle in the desert. We are onto it. Anyway, so today I am alone in my Suzuki Jimny. Tires are deflated to 15 psi, and Jimny is behaving like a Yamaha Raptor or a sand rail. I never knew basically that Suzuki Jimny could be that capable when it comes to off-roading in desert driving on the sand. So today I'm in the mood and I'm gonna lose myself in these dunes with my Suzuki Jimny. MashaAllah this is this has been a very wise and smart decision to buy the Suzuki Jimny. I'm starting to fall in love with this little vehicle and I'm just loving it. The more I bring it to off-road, the more I love it. So throughout this little off-road adventure, please once again feel free to look around and that is the best way to enjoy this video. Don't just watch only one angle of this video. Enjoy the open desert with us. So I have left the trails and I'm enjoying driving the Suzuki Jimny over smaller dunes just to get the feel of it. My sister is driving a V6 Toyota Land Cruiser and that one is much more powerful compared to my little 1.3 liter Suzuki Jimny. It has a puny engine I know but it is doing much more than I expected. Look how nicely it's tackling the dunes, and no wonder we call Suzuki Jimny a sand crab here in UAE. And of course, Toyota Land Cruisers are called the camels here in UAE because Toyota Land Cruisers are really very, very capable vehicles when it comes to off roading, especially driving in desert. So, today we are driving two of the best desert vehicles. As this is the very first time for my sister to drive uh, in the desert so she was relying on my instructions and I was taking her step by step to dunes. She's very happy that she did very well on the first section of the journey. Now I will bring her to that mountain in front of us on the forward angle of this video and I asked her to go up and down as much as she could do without having to have bad angle on uh, side angles especially on driving. So basically I told her to go straight as up as high as she could and when she finds the engine is not having enough power make a u-turn just like this. There she goes at the left angle view and she actually went pretty high because Land Cruisers are very very capable vehicle. Basically she could go all the way up to that mountain if she knew how to drive in the desert. She knows how to drive of course but not in the desert. Now I'm pushing my little 1.3 liter Suzuki Jimny. I am really surprised because this is the angle, this is the area where I used to go with my Yamaha Raptor 
and I'm surprised to see how far up Suzuki Jimny has come. So do not <laughs> underestimate this vehicle. Hear me in excitement. No, we cannot underestimate this vehicle. This is by far one of the best vehicles for desert off-roading. When the winds are right, we normally paraglide in this area. Yeah, my engine is not having enough power. Now, actually speaking, 1.3 liter engine in uh, Suzuki Jimny is very, very capable, enough, powerful enough. Having that only if you have manual transmission. Now, I'm driving a total stock Jimny, and this is an automatic transmission. Once again, it loves to shift up. I need high RPM just like this. But you see how quick the Jimny transmission shifts up and engine loses all the power. Yes, I hate something which is actually the traction control. The traction control in Suzuki Jimny kicks in and I lose all the power. Watch your step. <laughs> Don't get your so your now airbags out. we are at a very good spot in the desert on the dunes. For the first time, I have I brought my Jimny here, so I'm busy taking pictures. Now, if you look at the forward section of the video, forward angle, the rocky mountain in front of us. Last time I failed to bring my Jimny straight up there. So this time I'm actually going around in the dunes because I found that the Jimny is very good on the sand dunes. So I am actually going around the dunes to reach to that rocky point, which is one of, uh, one of the camping points for many families. So I want to find a nice track or nice way around, I mean easier way around in the dunes to go up there. Because basically going straight up is not possible for Suzuki Jimny and its small 1.3 liter engine. This time I have mounted the camera the other way around so the stitching will stay at the sides. However, I totally forgot to cover the microphone, so bear with me for the sound of the winds. Next time, I will cover the microphone as well. If you're wondering what I'm talking inside the car, basically I'm speaking to a camera mounted inside the car, and I'm going to post another video, which also have very good views, and it has a much more uh, clear commentary very excited commentary from inside the car while I'm driving. So don't forget to watch the inside camera view video on my channel of the same off-roading adventure. Of course it's on my channel as well. No, no, don't want to hit that one. I did not install the switch to turn off or deactivate the uh, um, airbags. I'm actually speaking to some of the uh, mechanics around these days to install a switch to turn off or deactivate the traction control and airbags in my Suzuki Jimny because this is one of the things that you must do if you're off-roading in desert. You must, must deactivate your airbags and traction control. Whenever traction control kicks in, it takes all the power away and you will easily get stuck. So traction control is not helpful here in the desert. And yes, again, do deactivate your airbags. Found her again. Now that we have enjoyed going around and I have found my way up there, so I will bring the Jimny around the dunes to go all the way up. Stay with me. Uh oh, not enough power because of the traction control. 
So I'll go back and go around. Basically, in this video, you cannot see the real beauty of this place and you cannot feel the real angles the Jimny actually pulled today to climb up and down these dunes. I very much welcome you to come visit Dubai and join us in these off-roading adventures and only then you will know the real fun of desert dune bashing or desert off-road driving. Now I'm actually deciding which way to hit the dunes in front of me because these are the last ones and after that I will be uh, by, the, by the base of that rocky mountain in front of you. I have to make sure to drive in a way that traction control doesn't kick in otherwise I will lose all the power and yes, have to move the steering left and right that's how you drive in deserts on the sand the last one and after that we should be clear so I didn't have power I had to back off and then drive again Suzuki Jimny is doing it watch me playing with the steering wheel I'm very very busy on the steering wheel do watch the other video which was shot with the inside camera uh, camera mounted inside Suzuki Jimny and you will love to be inside the car and you will see how busy I was uh, driving around the desert I found the camel uh, tracks so I'm following the camel footsteps we are almost there you can hear me screaming and laughing in excitement very soon following the camel tracks almost there and yes straight path to the base of the mountain now you can see me I'm very excited inside the car and I'll do a little bit of excitement outside as well right before the 3d camera so follow me when I open the door and this is one of the very very nice points to camp and to have some barbecue have some meal so next week inshallah I'll bring kids I'll bring Mary and my sister and her husband my brother-in-law we've all planned to come here to camp and cook some barbecue enjoy our time here wait for these excited Alisha now <laughs> Finally! I did it! Finally! I, I did it! Yeah, yeah baby. At this point, last time we failed to do it. This time, we did it. Let me call my sister. She's Basically, over there. Basically, she got stuck. <laughs> okay. My sister was trying to come up, and she got stuck on the slope. So now we have to drive down. I was thinking I'll stay here with my sister. We'll enjoy some of our non alcoholic. Uh, apple beer together and talk about life it's been a very very long time my and sister didn't get time to sit long and you know go through how the life went by these many years I was in China she was in United Kingdom in London and we spent years years without without even meeting each other now I'm very glad that she has moved to UAE and I'm here in Dubai and we can join each other on these nice exciting off-roading adventures so now I'm driving back I have to drive down find her and help her going down is always really easy <laughs> a 
it's the climbing up that takes effort. Now here I will be pulling some very, very steep angles. You might want to check the side views in this video to see how much angle Jimmy is pulling. And I had to be slow and careful because I, I, was, I was really worried if I will get my airbags out. I have to install a kill switch for airbags and traction control. Actually, I have to modify this Jimny. I'm thinking to add K and, A, A, K and N air filter, and I'm thinking to change the exhaust system, and also maybe maybe add a little bit of uh, uh, charger, uh, sorry, turbocharger or supercharger to the engine. Then this thing will be a different animal. There she is. Now I have to find a way around so that I can stop at the right place and I myself don't get stuck. Basically the way the angle she is stuck at, it's nothing for Land Cruiser. But pst, keep it secret, she doesn't know how to put the car in four wheel drive low and how to engage differential lock. So yes, because it's her first time to drive uh, Land Cruiser in desert, she doesn't know how to engage four-wheel drive low and lock the differential. So what I would do is, before I was thinking I'll just, you know, pull the Land Cruiser with Jimny, but then I decided to give it a try. All I did was uh, put the Land Cruiser in four-wheel drive low and lock the differentials and Land Cruiser pulled out really easy. So I bring my shovel, remove a little bit of sand from the rear wheel which is dug in real nice. My sister had some very good showers, sand showers actually. I could see her from far. She was just splashing the sand around with the windows open. <laughs> Getting stuck in desert is, is, is the life and it, it comes with the off-roading adventure. It's a part of this off-roading desert driving adventure. Now you can see in four-wheel drive, it's just a splashing the sand. So what I will do now, I will put it in four-wheel drive low and lock the rear differentials. My sister will try to push it. <laughs> I told her not to push, but she was very much concerned about getting the vehicle out. Anyway, now you can see how easily Land Cruiser will pull herself out. Or maybe it was my sister's power. That's all. With the lock differentials and four-wheel drive low, Land Cruiser comes out. And now my sister has gotten rid of worries so she will <laughs> enjoy the sand <laughs> she is like a baby now enjoying the sand <laughs> she's enjoying the cool sand <laughs> No, no, that's not enough. She'll do it again, and this time she'll roll around. <laughs> this is how we roll in desert. This is how we roll in desert. Welcome to join us and do the same. All right, now she told me that she had just lost her earring. <laughs> Finally, listen to me. earring. earring. 
in such a big desert. In such a big desert. <laughs> what are the chances? What are the chances? What are the chances? <laughs> Right. So basically, she oh. dropped the earring inside the car, not outside. She found the earring later inside her Land Cruiser. Okay, that was enough adventure. So now it's time for us to go back, and we will start driving back. Driving back is always, you know, nice and slow, but today I wanted to take it a bit faster. So this was not it. After we arrived at our starting point, we inflated the tire with my Bushmaster air compressor, and then we drove on a rocky path all the way to Jebel al Fire. I did very nice um, ground handling with my glider and one of my friends lent me his uh, speed glider and I did a ground handling. After that my trainer came and he says he got a tandem so we took a tandem and he gave me the controls and I flew for 45 minutes soaring in the skies at 300 feet, 300 meters altitude for about 45 minutes. We went all the way 5-6 kilometers and back and at the same time I was actually recording a 360 degree virtual reality video with the same camera. Unfortunately, when we were coming back uh, after uh, for the landing, I stopped, I hit the record button again to stop recording and camera froze, corrupting my beautiful 45 minutes of high altitude soaring in 360 degree virtual reality video. That's the shame. Hey, there's always a, a next time. So next time I'll be flying solo and I'll make sure to record a 360 degree virtual reality video. So once again, thank you very much for watching this 360 degree virtual reality video. Next week we plan to bring the family along with our little cars, along with us, and we will hit even higher, more bad dunes. Well, I shouldn't say bad, I should say more steep, bigger and higher. So next week we will hit bigger and higher dunes uh, all the way from uh, Fossil Rock to Jebel Al Fire and we will drive not the rocky path because it's easy even a rear wheel drive or front wheel drive can do it we will drive all the way in the dunes only the sand dunes so stay tuned do please subscribe to my channel and stay updated for all the new upcoming uploads we have arrived at our meeting spot this is the meeting spot where we meet and now we will inflate the tires and go for the next adventure thank you very much for watching and have a nice day or nice evening I'll be bringing you more videos soon enjoy Bye-bye.